direction paragraph direction is right to the left direction you see this the English direction is left to right the Middle Eastern parts to Arabic direction or directions are from right to left you select that there is uh, some other uh, things we will explain it one by one later on in our in, in our uh, next lessons as an example, I am typing something. We can uh, press the shortcuts. For each toolbox, you have a shortcut. You may remember or you may not remember it. Doesn't matter. You can use the. You can click on the uh, toolbox. The T tool. It's not a T option or it's not a T uh, letter. It's not a T letter. I mean, it's the T tool. Click uh, and hold it. It will come uh, um, uh, more tools on it. Vertical, horizontal, and or uh, only um, letters. I mean um, um, words with uh, no colors in it, just um, brackets around around in it. Uh, you will see that uh, practically here. Just we are working on the first one now. Click and drag a box like this. 
or just click some somewhere there will be um, some letters come over it's automatically by photoshop in the previous versions it will be not like this maybe you can delete that you can t type on it something like uh, then uh, control a your entire text will be selected or double click on the text or like this on the right to left or from the left to right you select the, your entire uh, text the options the paragraph options right to left is uh, selected as english we should select left to right it comes like this it scans on the right characters characters means this character this letters you design it you give it give them some styles in large small or bold all capital letters or anything else there's all t signs this this is not something like in word program ms office word you have b or something else here because the t is the symbol of the text there is t signs italic all capitals and uh, the two t next to each other with one is small one is big it means like um, second third the uh, second two and d will become on the on the top something like that practically you will see it later how to enlarge your text how to enlarge your text on the top there is text styles click on on the side there is sizes or one more thing go to the t t itself here your mouse will be like this two arrows with with the two side arrows click then go right or left or up and down it will be click on the t i mean it will be enlarged obviously there is color links next to it or on the top there is colors any colors you, you can give it to them it's up to you there's not uh, many options i need to explain now you'll see it one by one you'll learn it one by one later on the font family you have english you select english usa or uk or if you have uh, arabic you select arabic style here this is just a little bit different it doesn't uh, like sometimes you you write numbers in it it doesn't take it in english you write a number it will arabic number uh, remember this you select this one here like uh, english or any other languages okay there's nothing else how to copy this uh, earlier I said alt like each uh, um, tool is doing different job like there's some buttons keyboard buttons they are doing different jobs I mean different shortcuts for different things or you can create your own shortcut or shortcuts from the edit menu keyboard shortcuts okay how to copy the text or any objects you have on the screen click on the object this uh, text itself is also an object click then move it somewhere down up uh, copy it straight ahead you will have to click shift with the next to the um, alt it will go directly straight uh, the layer is already selected alt down uh, arrow it will copy there's another layer automatically selected but it copied on the previous on the full shop window click somewhere uh, all the layers are deselected now if you do control a or select all your uh, entire project is selected but you can do nothing now because the layers are not selected anything you are doing you should select a layer for example you copy multiple layers you, you should select multiple layers from here ctrl d is for deselecting if you want to move 
multiple layers let me first uh, uh, make this uh, text uh, uh, smaller and then design a little bit Control A or double click on the text small you see it comes to the second line then another color let me get a clear color you can play on it you can select whatever color you want you arrange your cabinet this is arrangement how to select multiple layers with the click of the shift click the shift button click on each layer or if you have uh, 20 layers click on all of them shift on the top layer oh sorry click on the top layer then uh, press shift then click on the bottom layer all of the layers are selected also you can select the layers on control click click one one layers of can selected click 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 or only difference between control and shift is and then select this one all of them will be selected if you select one here 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 you will use the control button bottom layer is empty we, we can delete it it will be confusing delete button from your keyboard or from here project there is no empty project one layer like in adobe premiere you create a project you will have to create the uh, sequence for it all of the layers we are selecting this is the easy way with shift you move it somewhere give them any color or we can bring a background from from our pc from our files go to file menu open i mean two three ways we have for it for the same job we have two or three ways or maybe more open or control o from your keyboard or drag and drop from your folder to the photoshop uh, project open let me find a good background for it there is a, a picture came up but there is no text where is our text we just open the open it the open means you can open another another photoshop project which uh, has been uh, sent from your friends or your colleagues co-workers whatever uh, or um, or you you have your own uh, project you can open your project or you can open a file in it like there is multiple projects there will be on the type uh, bottom from the menu there will be multiple projects here we have only two projects this picture that we have opened this is also a project we can call it a project we can edit the layers here we can design here anything we can bring that text here or we can bring this picture to our text which is the project which is our project we haven't saved our project yet it's easy it's regular saving like anything else but save as or save or if you want to save it as a another format like J jpeg uh, PNG uh, JP project came up here. It's the same size fitted in our project. If it's not the same size, you can enlarge or make it smaller. Why it's on the on the front? Our text is gone because I said there is many layers. On the top layer comes in the front because it's a full screen. Our text is gone. Some layers are, for example, bigger. It can be seen on the side now we can uh, bring our layer on the top our top layer we can see it here you either way we select the previous all the previous layers bring it on the top or we select the first layer bring it on the bottom our text came up in the front now again we can play with it we can bring it anywhere in our next next lessons we will work on the styles or effects how to style out our text how to get